Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest characters for the newest month-long contest in WWE Champions, and it is NXT TakeOver Month, uh, kicking things off with your freebie, the Cardiac Kid himself, Wes Lee, Rise from the Ashes. He is a modern era chaotic acrobat, trainer ability at 26k. Black moves start with two more move points and leech gems do 75% more damage. Links NXT, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. And just the one standard set of gear. This will be the free to play edition um, of the preview. I do want to mention he has um, some moves that we're not going to be looking at here. It's the double um, yellow moves. They're both situational. They are for MP stealing. The roundhouse kick, yellow one, uh, 694,814 damage and steal up to four MP from each of your opponent's blue moves. And then the super kick is the same damage, but it steals purple. Um, so you could get into a really interesting build with that Hogan, not the Hogan, um, the Ghostbuster side plate and just boost the hell out of this yellow gem damage. I'm not going to be using them in the previews. I'm just going to keep this very straightforward, but I do want to mention that that's an option. Um, also an option at two star, again, a build I won't be showing, but how do you run them at two star bronze? I would probably just put an MP trainer on and see what I can get out of the sub. Probably going to suck but that's what I would do. Uh, first build I will show is available at three star. It is the finisher and double purple. The finisher, to me, it's the cardiac kick. They're calling it the handspring Pele kick. It looks the same. Uh, 10 MP deals 609,746 damage and choose three rows to destroy. Purple one, sleeper hold, seven MP submission. Generate 28 random submission gems and do 289,229 damage for four turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into snowfall gems, which, when broken by you, turn all the gems below it into poiple. And purple two, the falcon arrow, 7 MP, deal 208,849 damage. And choose seven gems to make into blue gems. So that's going to load up the finisher. The finisher is going to break snowfalls, which is going to reload the purples. We're doing purple gem damage uh, with this focus. Woods for purple MP. Trick Razor. If you have Zombie Drew or Trick Razor at their max ability for the 12k, Razor is better because it gives you the extra 50. It's like a legacy bonus in my opinion. Um, do that instead. Showboat Lacey for 20% more damage to the purples. And then Santa Hogan. And for the belts, Fury 2's purple gem damage focus all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green gem damage by 100% for two turns. And your purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So hopefully the snowfalls land in a favorable spot for recycling. Um, so other than the fact that they made him humongous, I think the character model is pretty decent. Again, other than the fact that he's huge. He's like five foot nine, so... You know, just, just throwing that out there. Um, I do want to point out, I didn't even bother getting my tour perks yet. Um, he is boosted for the month. All color moves start with two more move points. Multiply gems do 50% more damage. All color gems do 50% more damage. Uh, but I didn't... <sighs> Pardon me. I didn't get my monthly tour perks yet. I figured I would do his preview without them. Um, I did, however, get the speed up just so it's not, you know, incredibly long and drawn out. Uh, so 49k on the purple gems. Use the sleeper hold submission. Thank you, dodge. 
63,000. So cardiac kick. They did that move animation great. They really did. And they get a little bit here. 2.6 mil, not terrible. Not terrible at all. And then we do get to recycle it. We do two, three matches. Okay, this is like every Wesley match he's ever had. Just keep dodging and winning. Um, I hate the way this is laid out. We'll, we'll do that. It worked out. 77,000. Yeah, 3.7. Not horrible. That's the issue you're going to run into with Snowfall Gems. If, if it's a sub that leaves pyros, you're golden. But if it's snowfalls, you gotta get lucky on the placement. Uh, but that worked out okay. Let's take another um, peek at the sub with a different build. Next build we're going to take a look at keeps the double purple, but we're bringing in the six star move, which is the Snapmare Dropkick Combo. 8 MP, deal 277,222 damage plus 188,681 bonus damage for every Snowfall gem. And this is a hardcore move. Um, again, hardcore moves are triggered when a condition is met. The hardcore effect will go first. Um, the normal effect will go second. So if your opponent's class is Showboat, then increase your purple gem damage by 75% for one turn so this is definitely making class advantage do something here um entourage for this woods for purple mp um i know this is a free to play approved um preview but i am going to showcase the chase character's training ability this is nikita lions um snowfall gems do 75 percent more damage and purple moves start with two more move points so definitely made with wesley in mind going to be using Hall of Fame Lawler to reduce our submissions by two. I feel comfortable doing that because it's a four turn base. Um, if it was a three turn base and we made it a one turn sub, I'd be very um, weary and le whatever the word is. I, I wouldn't want to use it if it was three turns, but it's four, two turns. That's enough to drain the MP. Um, and then Lacey for purple gem damage, keeping the all heart plate, keeping the fury twos. And I do need to find a showboat opponent, don't I? Is that JBL? There's JBL. All right, so let's see what this hardcore move looks like. You can tell it's, it's going to work because it's glowing. Um, okay, so 45. Put out the sub. So the all heart plate will trigger from this. Fifty-nine thousand. Uh, we're gonna hit the snap, mare, drop, kick combo. So three hundred thirty thousand bonus gem damage for every snowfall gem. That's from Nikita. If you have Acro Snoop, he's the extra twenty-five percent. He's a myth. So you can see we got the um, the hardcore effect first, and then we got a bunch of bonus damage done. Now we are doing one hundred and three thousand per purple gem. I'm gonna use this. Make sure we get as much as possible. So there's three mil and a full recycle. So definitely a moveset to consider when going up against a showboat for that hardcore ability. But let's go take a look at his multiply gems. The last build we're going to take a look at is available at five star. We are running the triple blue. So the cardiac kick finisher, again, I don't know why it's not called that, but 
Could be a licensing thing. You never know. Uh, Blue 2, the Jumping Insiguri 5 MP, deal 191,476 damage. And make 10 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 227,230 damage and increase your blue MP by one at the end of the countdown. So there's a nice little 2.2 mil smack on turn two. Um, we're not using the choose move. That's a tactic you could do as well. Uh, but I want to show how this triple blue works. And then the five star move, the Tiger Faint Kick 8 MP. Deal 232,655 damage and choose three rows to make into multiply gems of strength five. Um, entourage for this, I'm using Lawler for blue MP, Lex for blue MP, and a multi gem strength increase. Santa Hogan, keep in mind, mine has the plus one, but I'm really just using him for all gem damage. And then Showboat Miz, he was free. He was a chase character, but... You know, use whoever you want. I'm going to be using him. Um, and I'm going to be bringing in the ultimate Opportuna Z plates. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Now, keep in mind, he has the plus two for the month. Um, Lawler gives us four, Lex gives us two, that's six, Santa gives us one, that's seven, plus two for the month is nine, and then one for your turn is ten. So everything's going to be ready to go on turn one. It's not realistic, so I'm going to pretend that everything happens on turn two. Um, the countdown move will be ready on turn one, though, so use the countdowns. That's going to trigger the Z plate, and let's do that. I want to try to keep as many of those on the board as possible. He's going to probably cover these up with power gems. Yeah. Jerk face. Did that show all of it? Question mark? Whatever. Uh, double stack, though. And then choose three rows to make it a multiply gems of strength five. I'm going to look for as many of these blue gems as possible. I know I'm going to be covering up some countdowns here. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of his power gems instead. So we have 64. We got two stacks of the Z plate. 64,000. So 455,000 per blue gem. 393 on our purples and then yellow is his other color 311 and take out your three rows of multiply gems thanks for coming 7.8 mil turn two free character um if you have matt use matt i have mem now but it's a free to play so i'm not going to use mem but um i'll do a run it back let's do a run it back um, yeah, that's pretty decent for a freebie. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Wesley, the Cardiac Kid, Rise from the Ashes. Character model looks fantastic, other than the fact that they made him, you know, fairly big. Um, he's like five foot nine, but they got everything. They did a great job with him, character-wise, other than the sizing. Um, again, he is a modern-era chaotic acrobat. Trainer ability at 26k. Black moves start with two more move points. Leech gems do 75% more damage. I haven't looked at Nikita yet, but I have a feeling um, that is who he is designed for. The NXT link. I'm happy we're not getting, like, an NXT 2.0 or a 2.9 or whatever. Um, I like that all of the NXT versions of characters just have that one link um, to encompass all of them. So, like, I can use them with Fandango, right? Um, but any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Uh, but that is who your freebie is for NXT TakeOver Month. Again, Wesley, your freebie. Nikita Lyons, your chase. Looking like Cora Jade this weekend. Boo. Um, I'm a big NXT fan. It's my favorite of the three brands. Um, I would rather watch NXT over Raw and SmackDown. So I'm very excited for this month. Let me know in the comments, who's your favorite NXT 
wrestler right now. Who do you want to see in game this month? Let's let's go for all new people. First time characters, NXT TakeOver. Let's get Tiffany. Let's get Carmelo. Let's get Roxanne. Let's get Ilya. Let's do it. I'm really hyped for NXT month. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. And stay tuned when we run it back with Wesley. Thanks for watching.